morning, Mustangs, and thank you for joining us. It's Thursday, March 9th, and I'm Bill Shrew. In today's headlines, a look into the various cultures represented at our school, some big wins for FSA, and some reminders for the upcoming events this month. But first, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At FSA, students are given the opportunity to learn about all the different cultures that surround them. In addition, students are offered a wide variety of languages to choose from during their high school career, in class, and online. Here's Captain Anath Hassan with more. As students know, FSA only offers Spanish and Turkish classes. Students are offered the opportunity to expand their knowledge in different languages online via interactive and engaging content through online school. Although students are offered the class online, students are still required to take tests and a final exam to demonstrate their knowledge. Students broadening their interest to study a foreign language have the possibility to widen their cultural understanding. Online classes are geared towards students who prefer to work at their own pace in contrast to in-person foreign language classes. And here's a student who is currently studying French online. I was hoping to continue my like language because I took French before, so it was just kind of like to try and kind of continue and take the same language for all four years. Online classes can prove to be even more difficult than in person because there is no in person teacher to guide students to their language journey. The challenge that I faced was making sure I stayed on task and that I kept myself like responsible for my work because if you turn and work late, you can really give excuses. So that affects my grades. So I was hoping to like you know stay organized and and efficient. Learning a new language is challenging, and there are many differences between learning online and in person. Um, the difference between taking my language class online or in person is that I don't have a traditional classroom setting or like a teacher to go to to keep me um, organized and like um, responsible for myself. I have to do that all by myself, and you know, make sure I stay on task. As most students take in person classes, here's a look on how online language classes work. Online classes are basically like regular classes. You have assignments and tests and exams. You have a final exam that you take to, um, like, learn to show your showcase your knowledge that you've learned throughout the semester. And you use GABS to do it. And then from GABS, where you sign up, you use Canvas Instructor, um, which the school pays for. For Mustang News, I'm Catherine Anathasan. We should also always keep the mission of FSA in mind to deliver an educational framework designed to achieve the highest academic results and instill enduring strength of character by leveraging innovation and STEAM curriculums for college preparedness and lifelong student success. In a math league competition at Dave's Creek Elementary, FSA's math league team won first in the K-1 and K-5 divisions in the regional math competition and will be able to move on to the state level. Just like we keep the mission of FSA in mind, it is equally important that we remind ourselves on the vision of FSA. Fulton Science Academy Private School endeavors to be a nationally recognized school serving advanced and gifted students committed to academic success, civic responsibility, global citizenship, and high ethical values within a safe environment that celebrates diversity and is nurtured by the collaborative efforts of all stakeholders. Remember Mustangs, next week is Career Week, a time where students can get a deeper look into some of the professions that the world has to offer. Also, as FSA's international celebration approaches, be sure to sign up to volunteer at a booth and get involved in this long-awaited FSA tradition. The international celebration will be held on Saturday, March 19th, with booths and performances from various countries. As a reminder, MSA is still selling Chick-fil-A every Friday morning at 710 in the front lobby, so be sure to get your Chick-fil-A biscuits this week if you haven't already. All the proceeds will benefit the FSA Athletics program. According to the Weather Channel, it looks like today and tomorrow will be a bit on the gloomy side with cloudy and rainy skies throughout the day and highs in the mid-50s and lows in the upper 40s. However, the weather seems to look like it's going to clear up during the weekend. For today's quote, we shine a light on Dolly Parton, a famous singer-songwriter with over 10 Grammy Awards and 3,000 songs. She says, if your actions create a legacy that inspires others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, then you are an excellent leader. It's time for the joke of the day. Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? because she kept running away from the ball. Stay safe and healthy, Mustangs, and don't forget to subscribe to FSA's YouTube channel. I'm Bill Shri, reminding you that when we, you, and I care, we are always hashtag stronger together.